In this video, we will make commercial grade powder detergent. But first, we'll look at the ingredients. Number one here, we have uh, calcium carbonate. The second one here is uh, soda ash. We have uh, SLS solution. We have sugar ester. We have uh, silicate, CMC, um, and uh, sulfonic acid, and uh, perfume. You may choose to add on um, some other optional ingredients, but these are just the basics, uh, basic uh, ingredients that uh, will uh, do the job for us. So. We are employing the SLS and the sugar ester as dispersants for the um, calcium carbonate so that we don't uh, have particles at the end of the day, particles on the fabric, especially black or colored fabrics. The next thing we'll do is uh, we add the dispersant or oh, the first dispersant that's the sugar ester. We add it to the calcium carbonate. We are trying to make a premise that is we wet the calcium carbonate so that it will not show particles then it will simply act as a, a crystallized seed crystallization agent in the detergent. Just add it gradually while mixing. Make sure you mix it in. Once it's completely mixed in, the next thing we'll do is we add the SLS solution and do exactly the same thing. We'll mix it in, we'll try to wet the calcium carbonate. Please, we are not just using any calcium carbonate, we are using carcite. That's what we're using. It's available in uh, in shops. You can get uh, get it as in from uh, commercial retailers here, wholesalers or retailers.
now we add um, a very small part of the soda ash we are using for the formulation and continue mixing it in when it's completely mixed we uh, we are going to age it for about 30 minutes to one hour you just leave it maybe if you like you can put it in the sun to uh, dry it or whatever so we're going to age it a little so at the time we're aging it we will start with the detergent active So we put the calcium carbonate uh, premix. We'll keep it, we just set it aside to age it for 30 minutes to one hour. While doing that, we can start working on the detergent active. That is the soda ash the neutralization of uh, sulfonic acid with soda ash acting as the alkali So after preparing the detergent active, we are now going to gradually add the premix we made earlier. Gradually add it bit by bit when mixing it.
So we'll keep mixing and now we can when it's completely mixed we add a CMC and sodium silicate powder together and still continue mixing. As we said earlier on, you can add um, other addictives, enzymes, um, more anti redeposition uh, re agents, um, you can even incorporate uh, bleaches. Or any other ingredient, color, granules, and others, whatever you want to add to it. But now you have a detergent. So normally we will uh, leave this for some time so that uh, we will sun dry it. But since it's uh, an experimental video we are going to test it right away we're going to test for its uh, forming ability and um, most importantly if um, we we'll have uh, particles on the washed fabric so we just take a handful put in water as cold water there and try to dissolve it in it we are using a uh, a transparent uh, bucket so that you can actually see through to see if there is a deposit of soda ash on it we don't have any so we are going to use a fabric a colored fabric to test I will test its cleansing power and again deposition of uh, particles on fabric So moment of truth. Let's see now if we're going to have uh, particles. Okay. It's neat. There are no particles on it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, our dear subscribers. We appreciate you.